Hey guys, I wanted to create a short video from this woman who uh, wanted to know how to handle the situation because she went to her doctor and told the doctor that she was in ketosis. And the doctor says, oh my gosh, don't do that. It's life-threatening. Ketones are poisons, okay? So she wanted to know how to respond to that. So I want to talk about that. Yeah, so I've done a lot of videos on this, but I'm going to do one more. And it has to do with this one confusion of thinking diabetic ketoacidosis is the same thing as nutritional ketosis. They're not the same. There is a condition when you're a type 1 diabetic, when you don't, you run out of insulin, you don't have any more insulin. So therefore your ketones go up and up and up and up and you, you become very acidic and that's dangerous. Okay, so that's one thing. If you're not a type 1 diabetic, you're gonna produce insulin. So there is no risk of getting ketoacidosis if your pancreas makes insulin because what you're gonna do is go into ketosis by just dropping your carbohydrates. So your body can then turn your own fat and the dietary fat into ketones. So the truth is that ketones can be very therapeutic to your body. They are not poisons, okay? And there's a lot of research being done right now on using ketones on brain injury Okay, because here's the truth. Ketones are a more efficient fuel. They need less oxygen. They produce less waste than glucose. They're neuroprotective. They protect and help recovery nerve damage from glucose. So when you switch from glucose to ketones by going on a ketogenic diet, it's called keto adaptation, you can actually recover uh, damaged brain cells and nerve tissue. Ketones give you more ATP. That's the energy currency of the body. So your energy will go up. Your need for sleep does go down. It can actually increase your blood flow by 39%. And that's why there's actually research being done right now on all sorts of conditions uh, involving low oxygen, like um, using ketosis after a stroke, after brain injury, after um, damage to the lung, for example. So running the body in ketone can actually just increase oxygen in general. It also can prevent protein from accumulating in the brain and the tissues because when you're running your body in glucose, you can start developing amyloid placking, which is a little piece of protein in the brain and that can actually lead to Alzheimer's, dementia, and a lot of other problems. So the real poison is excess glucose high blood sugar because that can actually shrink the brain, cause you to retain fluid, decrease your memory, cause dementia, bring you down emotionally, uh, cause oxidative stress, which then your body has to come in there and patch it with cholesterol, uh, cause glycation, which is the binding of protein and sugar or fat and sugar together, and that clogs everything up and creates damage, can create fatigue, decrease oxygen, so as you can see, anyone actually telling you that ketones are dangerous just doesn't understand what a ketone is. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book, some of you don't, but this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter I'm going to show you exactly what to eat in a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below. Check it out.